Hey, good morning, Facebook world. We are live right now, hashtag live at 7.55 with Mitch Taylor. Thank you for joining me this morning for your daily dose of motivation this morning on a Friday. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the difference of making hundreds versus making thousands. Do you want to just make a sale and earn a commission? Or do you want to know how to make a relationship and actually earn a fortune? And that's the difference. Too often we're focused on that one-time sale. You know, that one, oh, I got to book this next one. Oh, I got to book this next one. I, I got to book that. Uh, here's the problem. You need to do the daily work it takes to focus on cultivating the relationship with the client. I can't stress how important this is. And I want to give you a few things that you need to go through to cultivate that relationship with the client. The first thing is attitude. Attitude is everything. I spoke about this back in creative consultations at Mobile Beat uh, a little while back in 2011, I think it was. And you must have an attitude of service. You can't go into it. You know, like Tommy Boy in the in the car scene, uh, and, and Tommy Boy at the restaurant. But it's my pretty new pet. I gotta make a sale. And, you know, <laughs> really bad Tommy Boy impression. But you know, uh, the point is you can't you can't go into it that way. You have to go into it as how can I help you get what you need. That's it. It's a conversation, not a confrontation. Thank you, Jake Palmer, for that nugget uh, from years ago at Northern Disc Jockey Conference. But the very first thing on your mind when you hop on the phone with them or you meet with them for the first time is that you, you have to have that helping attitude. So that's the very first thing that you want to have from that standpoint. Second thing you want to have is you want to talk about vision. What's their vision? What is your vision? Do they match? That's a huge question mark because you want to make sure that you're not booking clients that you're going to look back on later and wish you didn't. So talk about vision. You know, people always say, and DJs always write down, you know, what are the, tell me three words to describe your day. Let's make it a little more conversational. If you could be a fly on the wall as your guests are driving home from your event, what do you want them to say? That, that's you know very conversational. What is the biggest memory you want to take away from your wedding day? What do you want your guests to feel? It's a year later. What do you want said about your wedding? So by asking emotional questions that paint the picture of the outcome already happening, you're going to put that bride there and you're going to ensure that she knows that you understand the importance of this event. So that's the second thing. <clears throat> the third thing is you want to find out their story, not just story about them. Where'd you grow up? And, you know, and all those things you want to find out and share stories of how you can help them solve a problem that they may have. What is the problem they may have? What's the biggest challenge they're facing in planning their event? For most couples, this is their very first five or six figure party ever. And you need to help them through that process. So to sum it up, what's your ultimate job? It's not to DJ. It's not to put together flowers. It's not to run a photo booth. It's not lighting. It's not to run your limo service. Your ultimate job is to help your client, period. If you follow those steps, if you have the attitude of helping, if you talk vision with your client, what's theirs and yours, and you share stories of how you can help solve the problem that they have currently, you're painting the picture of the outcome in the future of their event with you at the helm of the party, you're gonna have that attitude of gratitude, you're gonna have that service that helping service that can ensure you can deliver exactly what they want and you will make thousands versus just hundreds 
and trying to make a sale to book a DJ event and then pass them off to somebody else. Five minutes, live at 7.55 is only five minutes each morning. We want to make sure we give you quick chock full nuggets you can take, use for inspiration for the day. Uh, thank you for watching, greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you on Monday morning. My timer means I'm done. See ya.